with school work out of the way, I turned my attention to current affairs. Noting the rise of demands for face masks, it was clear there was a gap in the market. It was time for me to stand up and make a difference. Britain needed me. First of all, I needed material. I had a few bits and pieces, but not nearly enough for the task in hand. So I turned to my parents, still recovering from the SATS episode. They'd been talking about having a clear out of old stuff, but when I pushed them on it, they came up with next to nothing other than some silly stuff about memories. I was clearly going to have to take a firmer line with them again. I explained to mum that although she hadn't had that check just for long, it really didn't suit her and you may as well forget the summer wear. I mean, it's so last year. She looked a little upset by this, which I put down to us not going on holiday this summer. I pointed out to dad that since he was to stay working from home when furlough ended, he wouldn't need so many shirts. I suggested he keep a couple for his Zoom meetings, but definitely not the blue ones. They're so not his colour. But his language was, until they calmed down. She said something about, what was it? Exploitation? And he mumbled about needing a union rep. But I chose to ignore it. We had to crack on, I said. There was no time for distraction. I like to think I'm a considerate employer. I read about repetitive strain injury. So at least five times a day, I make sure that they switch tasks. Mum prepares meals and makes drinks, whilst Dad washes up and dries afterwards. I'm focused on the business side of things, which can be very stressful. So, I like to take a little time out to myself, just to relax, every now and again. It's tough being at the top. Cheers.